All right, guys, let's see how we can solve another question from the third chapter of the injury mechanics, statics. And we have a former student of mechanics wishes to weigh himself, but has access only to the scale A with capacity limited to 100 pounds and a small 20 pound spring dynamometer B. With the rig shown, he discovers that when he exerts a pull on the rope, the B registers 90 pounds and the scale is 67 pounds. And the question is asking for the weight of this student. So we're going to start with the free body diagram of the student. And what is happening in here is that he's going to have the force that is in the rope here, which from the question, we know that one is 19 pounds. Uh, we're going to have the same rope that goes through all these pulleys. And I'm going to show the other one with different color. And we're going to have the other force applying at that point, which we don't know what that is. And we know the scale is reading 67 pounds. And we obviously have the weight of this student that we need to figure out. So the question is, all the forces are in y direction. And what we need to figure out is the, the tension in this rope that I showed in red. And the way we're going to find that is that we're going to draw the free body diagram for this triangle thing in here that is attached to two cables in there and obviously we have this tension which is the you can call this one t the t that we are looking for and we also have the two pulleys in each of on top of this triangle part which is attached to the 19 pounds on each side so if you want to find the tension in the cable in here the orange part which is the tension in this uh if you just do the sum of all forces in y direction equals zero this will be 19 times two and that force is going to be uh what is attached to this part of the triangle part so 19 times two we obviously have the same story for the other pulley on the right side so and here if we just do sum of all forces in y directions just call our x and y in here we're going to have our t minus uh, actually, we're going to have, so I'm doing sum of all forces in y equals zero since we are in equilibrium. So we're going to have four times 19 minus t equals zero. So the t is four times 19 pounds. So now that we have this, if we just get back to the free body diagram of the person, which is what I drew in here, uh, we just have to do sum of all forces in y direction again equals zero and what we're going to have is the 67 pounds which is the the scale rate plus 19 which is this force at point b plus 19 times four the tension in the cable and we're going to have the weight equals zero and this should give us the weight which is going to be 19 times 5 plus 67. Let's see what we get. So the actual weight of the student is 162 pounds. And the final answer for this question. Hope everything was clear. Let me know if you guys have any questions. And you guys take care. I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one.